So hello guys welcome back to the channel I hope you all are absolutely fine and sound in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so here is the updated solution or guide for it so first of all click on start lab and if you're new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel now let's cover this lab the first thing you have to do is just open the console incognito window now here simply if you get any pop-up just click on I understand and I agree and continue and the next step will be activating the cloud shell so just follow as I am doing and you will be able to get full score on this lab, do not worry about it. Now here simply click on I agree and then click on I agree and continue and in the next step we will be activating the cloud shell. How we have to activate you can see this icon next to the gemini button you have to just click on it wait for this page to fully load here basically you have to click on continue and then authorize yourself so just do it Now first of all let me increase the font size and now in the description box I have shared one github repository but before that we will be opening Vertex AI workbench you can see here in the notebook section it's workbench you have to click on it and here first thing we will be resetting the notebook and then we will just initiate the next step so just come over here so many of you are complaining that files are missing select it and click on reset now wait for the notebook to get reset you can see it's resetting now come to the description box here is the github repo paste the second command over here now wait for it to get completed now many of you are having some kind of issue with this task so if you get error you have to rerun the command again i'll show you how you have to do do not worry everything will be covered in this video now here you can see the jupyter notebook is now idle and it's working here so the first thing we have to do is click on open jupyter lab okay open jupyter lab we have to click on it and sometimes you may face error like either the site will be not opening or like if you are getting this kind of error you can try to reload itself or come over here refresh it this page and just simply you can see open the Jupyter lab again it may take some time so you need to wait for it to get completed and then we'll just initiating the next step so just stay tuned meanwhile you can like the video and many of you are asking about how we can see the previous cohort swags so for the unboxing video you can check the channel i will link the video in the description too you can watch it also now here you can see jupyter notebook is now ready now first thing we have to open the terminal to clone the file which we will be using for this notebook to initiate so here you can see this is the interface and ui of the jupyter lab now here we have to just scroll down and just open the terminal if you don't know how to open the terminal let me show you click over here it may take some time if it is not responding you can refresh the browser window too once again now wait for the id to load now come over here copy the fast command paste over here and hit enter now you need to see the latest file of version 1 you can see here this is one few seconds ago click on it now select python 3 as kernel now wait for the kernel to get connected it's showing connecting it will show idle then only we will move forward to the next step simply select this first shell and just use this play button twice and now here kernel will be restarting you have to simply click on this ok and wait for the kernel to get restart and get it idle you can see when you see the circle next to the python local is empty that means the kernel is idle now just select over here and run each command one by one using the play button now here it will take some time once you see the kernel basically the circle which you are seeing is showing some black dots basically once it's empty then only you'll be able to complete this task if you are getting error just rerun all cells one by one now come over here to the cloud shell session here you can see it's initiating the cloud build now this may take some time and many of you are facing issue on this like sometimes what happens the local host is not responding or sometimes the streamlit app is not responding in that case you have to just rerun the command and wait for some time now let's wait and then i will show you how you have to complete this lab 
this will take some time so just stay tuned and make sure your internet is not disconnected and the lab is running properly now here you can clearly see that it's working and after that it will show the url for opening the apps one with local host here you can see the service url is also live and both these url are live after simply click on this one by one and just in the create a recipe so just do it as i am doing and i repeat if you get any kind of error you need to rerun the second command on the github uh, sorry cloud shell again now just select you can select and then any random recipes and click on generate recipe for both the apps like this you have to do it it will take few seconds and will be done with the lab guys so here it's generating so like if you're unable to see these two urls as i said earlier you have to come over here select it like this and run it and you'll definitely get the basically url and if you're still not getting this kind of url simply restart the lab because sometimes labs are glitchy now here check the score and that's the way we have to complete the lab guys do like the video and subscribe the channel thank you have a great day